Hey everybody, this is Strange to Society, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of K. Uh, we just got half of this temple done, and then we switched the water around, so now we can take this current and go through the other doors that we missed. Um, if I don't get caught on something, I'm not supposed to get caught on. Okay, uh, last time I drowned and I did something wrong, so let's do that. Oh, I thought I was on the other side, that's what was going on. Okay, but anyway, there's an open door over there, so let's go... See what's in that open door, if I can get in there without flying by it. Okay. The interrogation room. Oh, this looks dangerous. We got spikes everywhere on the floor. We got platforms we're probably going to have to jump across. And a ladder right here, so let's get to it. Okay. So what do we got? Man, this looks... This looks scary right here, but uh, I think we can go ahead and do this. Let's jump across and hope we make it. Hey, old chum, come on down so we can beat the cat food out of you for what you are doing to our comrades. You handbags talking to me? Here comes Crocodile K. Okay, so the frogs are Jamaican, but these alligators seem Russian. Uh, comrades, they have that kind of Russian stereotypical thing but anyway so we've got to go down there and beat those guys up and uh so let's go ahead and do that while avoiding the spikes uh this fight is a little tricky because it is easy to uh get in a bad spot and accidentally um make your way into those spikes but the good thing is i think these guys can't go into the spikes either and they will get hurt by it uh so that's something to keep in mind and uh, I have the combo now, which will make this so much easier to take these guys out. And uh, I'm a little bit stronger. I have the third level sword, which is just destroying these guys. And that's awesome. But uh, anyway, let's uh, take care of down here while I have my combo. Uh, let's see. I, there should be uh, now a Zhong up here. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's get rid of you. Okay, there we go. That will allow us to get this chest, which gives us another key, which will allow us to get to a different area. And uh, what we can do now is we have this Shong here, and uh, that will allow us to get up here. And hold on. Actually, yeah, that's where I need to go. So we can go up there, get that Zhong, which... Um, uh, man, they're not making it easy. You're going to have to take a leap of faith in order to get back. But uh, I think we can make it over here just barely, but we made it. Okay, so we got the key in this room, and I'm pretty sure that's all in this room. Just taking one last look around. I'm not seeing anything else. So let's go back this way. Okay. Let's swim back out because there's no upper area to take. And continue on our path, and I just want to get this platform here, catch a breath, and let's see if there's another door over here. There is! Okay, so let's go through this door and see what is back here. And hey, we just got a key, and there just so happens to be a door that requires a key. So what better timing is that? Okay, so let's see. We are in the wild water room. So we got some whirlpools going on. We've got to land on some lily pads. Make our way over to the other side. If we fall into a whirlpool, uh, I think it'll take us right back to that platform, minus some health. But uh, we got these lily pads here, so let's get on these lily pads. Some are going different speeds than others. You can actually use these lily pads to your advantage uh, to get across there and kind of cheap your whole way, but you miss all of those crystals. But once again, I'm not in it for the points, but we've got some more coins okay coins I can deal with I don't mind the coins coins are good but uh, so we get over here and we follow this little path uh, windy back and forth path let's see where this leads us over here oh and we've got some more lily pads and some uh, swinging sides to dodge over here so let's uh, see what we can do about that um, we want to wait until the scythe is in a good section like that and uh, hopefully by avoiding the one behind us and the one in front of us. Okay, so let's go get on these lily pads. That current is strong, and if you fall... Oh, we have some explodey barrels, too. Whenever you see barrels, always be careful. For instance, there's a barrel on this platform. Jump up, then jump back before you get exploded. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we're going to do that, and I, only, and I almost took a little too long, but uh, made it through. We've got a barrel up on this one, so we do that. 
You could just rush through, but I try to be a little more careful, a little more cautious, see what I'm going in so that hopefully I don't make mistakes like that. Uh, but anyway, I did get hit by that barrel, but uh, it's okay. I had some red armor on, so I actually have quite a bit of health left. And, uh, okay, the camera does not move. The camera is locked in place, which can be both bad and good, depending on the situation. Okay, barrels will blow up other barrels, though, so that is something else to keep in mind. Um, okay, we got skinny platform right there. But, uh, anyway, oh, what do we got? Message over here. Sometimes the portals to the demon realm are hidden near large machinery. That is probably a clue that there is a demon gate next to the big switch that, um, at least my guess is there's a demon gate next to the big, uh, water switch that allowed us to change the currents. Okay, went ahead and just got some money there, but now we are in this section, and we have stuff to dodge. The funny thing is, those guys are going to get hit by it, and it actually hurts them. Uh, but we are safe back here, but what we want to do is uh, use these crystals as a guide to help us get across. And uh, they are in a... Pa oh, and I just jumped right into the fire. How smart was that? Um, anyway, you'll notice that these go in a pattern. You can jump over them if you need to. Just don't jump into the fire like I did. Uh, but you can use that to your advantage. And... Uh, you can use them to your advantage to help beat the guys up, too. See, it took off a piece of his armor, took off a piece of his armor. It is hurting him, and I love that. That is hilarious. I'll just let this guy get beat up by the uh, uh, trap that they have laid for me. I know as soon as I drop down, I don't have to worry about it anymore, but that guy is getting tore up, and uh, that is quite hilarious. I barely had to do anything to him. Okay, so let's go, and uh, now we can take care of these guys. Okay, so let's go and take care of that, and that, and that, and this is so easy when you have a combo because you can just triangle to them, because their defenses mean nothing. They cannot block you when you do a triangle attack, which is very nice. Okay, get your money, and now we can lower down, and what do we have down this way? Let's find out. Okay, let's see, let's see how we doing on time. Um, I think we're about eight minutes until it looks like. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, this is a long little pathway that we're taking here. I wasn't expecting it long, but hey, there is our cat statue, which will help lower the water, which will allow us to get the frog amulet that we need to move on out of this area. So let's activate that. And I'd say we're doing pretty good. It looks like we've got one more level, so that means one more cat statue, and then we should be good to go. We've only got a couple more rooms to explore. Uh, this lets out over here. We're above, uh, we're above the machine, so that's interesting. Okay, cool. And as it said, there's probably a demon gate in this area, because it said it was next to big machinery, so that would be... My best guess, and I hope I didn't miss anything by jumping down from up there. It doesn't look like I did. Um, I hope I didn't. Oh, man, that would be embarrassing. But uh, anyway, I'm just looking over there. I actually think, I wonder if I could jump up there. from Because we got... Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay, so... Nice little, little area shortcut there. Actually, is this a switch? No, it's just the crystal thing here. Let me go ahead and, and uh, activate this crystal here. Destroy it and see if this switch does not It doesn't look like this switch does anything. So it's probably not a switch, just a little platform. Okay. Um, but I'm looking. I don't see any chests up there that I might have missed. So I think we're in the clear. Uh, but with that, I think that was everything on that side of the area. Uh, if not, I will take one more look around before I leave this area, once I uh, go through here. But, I can come through here now, and there's actually a little friend here for us to rescue. The mean crocs abduct me from Frog City, boss. Me friends still alive, I be hoping. Now, I heard about a room, and you can only open it with a key. Found here in the swamp. 
Okay, and we actually been to that room because that was, I think, the first room where I went in, and what I needed was the uh, uh, crocodile amulet, which I got from the ferryman, and uh, that allowed me to get into the room. Uh, it was actually, I think, right behind this door here. Yeah, it was that one there. So that one is what the frog is talking about. So we already took care of that. Uh, those two doors we've obviously already been through, so I think there's only one door that we need to go. Let me double check that. But uh, okay, so we got this door here. Comrades, get the little cat. Okay, so this room is a fight, so let's keep that in mind and let's tear up some crocodile skins. Okay, get them on the ground, and uh, we got that. Okay, so the nice thing is, is if you get knocked down, you do this little spin attack, which will automatically knock down anybody that is next to you. Uh, ow. Okay. There we go. Okay, um, let's see. Ah, uh, it's not what I... Oh, man, I lost my armor. Okay, so gotta keep that in mind. I don't like the crocodile's fighting style because they are... And then they have these throwing things that will definitely uh, shave down your health pretty quickly if you're not being careful. Um, but anyway, okay, this guy's almost dead, so I really want to get him uh, knocked out. Um, oh, and I have the triangle attack now, so I need to be using that more because that is actually quite devastating to these guys. Uh, just like that. Okay, so let's take care of that. I mean, you almost get a guaranteed knockdown whenever you uh, use the triangle attack, which is so nice. It does a lot of damage, and uh, when you have your combo up, that does even more damage. Uh, okay, so let's do that. And, uh, okay, let's do that. Okay, hold on. Ah, ah, not what I wanted. Okay, okay, there we go. That's not quite what I was going for, but you know what? It killed him. It worked. That platform raises up, and that will allow us to get uh, somewhere. We do not want to go underneath that platform, because I just saw a bunch of spikes. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, so you do not want to miss when you're trying to jump up on top of that. Got a heart, which is very nice, because I am down armor now. I don't think there's much or many fights left, though, so that's always good. Uh, but we have this cage here. I can see the cat statue inside. All we have to do is come up, jump on the switch... The cat statue has been revealed, the platform lowers, and now we have the third switch that we can activate, which should lower the water, revealing the froghead amulet that we need to get on to the next area. Alright, bunch of good stuff all at once right there. Okay, so with that, I'm just looking around, I don't see anything else that we can do in here. Um, let's see, let me get up here... Just making sure there's nothing else. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to go check uh, the area that I was at before. Oh, I guess some pots I didn't break. Okay. Go check uh, the other side just to make sure I didn't miss any doors. Get up on get up on this platform here to make sure I don't drown again. That would be embarrassing to drown twice. But uh, anyway, so we got so I've been through that one. Okay, so that, I think that was the first one I went through. We got a key through there. Okay, just wanted to get, once again, get on the platform, make sure I'm not missing. We went through that one. Yeah, so that was it. So we are done, and we can leave. And I think we've got all the secrets that we needed to get. And uh, this is the way out, and uh, which is actually good. I think we are... Uh, closing in on 15 minutes anyway, so what I'm going to do is collect this Froghead Amulet. So now we have both halves of the Froghead Amulet, which should allow us to leave. I'm pretty sure I've discovered everything else in the swamp. Um, hold on, I'm looking, because I think I remember something in here. And I think it has to do with this guy right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because there, I, I remember looking around and I found that it was odd that there was one torch that did not have, that was not lit up. Because I think, yeah, there's a chest up there. So let me, ah, oh, come on, come on, okay, get up there. There we go. Alright, so there are two chests up here. Let's see what we can get. We get uh, a bottle, a berserker bottle. I already have one. I don't need another one. And some hearts. Okay, so that's cool. So that 
There's one more secret before I leave uh, that I showed off. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I found everything in here. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted by a loading screen. I'm going to make my way to the Froghead Amulet. What you can do is you can try and jump and swim over to that platform with this current. Uh, both platforms, actually. But this current is so fast, it's actually faster to get you through uh, to go just this way because it'll push you along. So you can ride this current all the way to this platform. And since, once again, we can also use the current to just bypass all these platforms, not worry about getting hit. And uh, so, let me get to the frog head. Frog, no, turtle head. Whatever that thing is that will allow us to get to the next area. Okay, so what I need to do is actually ride this. Okay, yeah. Gotta remember which way to go, because there's a lot of split paths around. Okay, but I need to cross these logs here and make my way back uh, past Frog City. this way. Right, okay. So we got that, we've got the checkpoint. Don't need to buy anything. We've got a heart container, actually two, because we got one in Froghead City as well. Might have missed a magic container in there. If I did, I'm sorry, but uh, once again, it was probably in one of those uh, seven combo chests. Uh, we've got, uh, so two heart containers, a magic container, uh, a sword upgrade, which was very nice. And, of course, all of the mandatory stuff we needed. The uh, uh, two crocodile things and then the two froghead things. Okay, so this is the thing. So now we have the full froghead amulet. So now we can open that. And that will allow us to access the next area. So we are done with the swamp. Finally done with that. Oh, actually, this is going to lead us to something else. I'm going to show it off in the next video. I don't have time enough in this video to show it off, but I think we actually have another boss coming up. The Lone Swamp. Um, so if you want to see that boss, because I think he's actually right up ahead. Uh, hold on, let me look at the map. Yeah, the boss is right up ahead. So I will fight that boss in the next video. I hope you guys stick around and check it out. Um, but other than, but otherwise, I am uh, done with this video, and I will see you guys in the next time. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. Uh, very much appreciate any comments or in uh, uh, whatever you guys want to say. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I will see you guys then. Uh, take care.